leren en hij is bij die andere hotelle soorten niet op zo'n soort Amsterdam. En hij interesseert zich naar het trektransport en het verbinding. In verband met de werkzaamheden, hij is daar voor. Eerst wordt hij aangevraagd om de concert van het gaan zien.
，好吧，好吧。You don't have screws to adjust the pressure. If you want to have more pressure, put more cardboard on the top. And I want to have a bit of more pressure, so I'm going to do it. Let me see. I'm going to put this one under, and I have extra pressure. That's all. Simple. Like that. You see, now it's more pressure. Very simple. That's the other one. Yeah, the paper has been soaked in water, it's humid. And because of that, you can press and shake the plate in the paper. This is very wet, so I dry it a little bit. Because it shouldn't be shiny. You can just humid, but not more of that. Rembrandt worked on paper that was uh, from a good quality. He worked on paper that was made from linen, so from old rags. But that is good paper. Thanks to that, you can still look at his etchings. Also, he worked on Japanese paper. This is Japanese paper. We call it gump. This is the made from the gumpy tree. It's uh, the name of the tree from the inside of the bark of the tree. This is felt to divide pressure, and this is a reconstruction from the 17th century press. Now we're going to make a print. Somebody wants to have some exercise on that side for fun? Yeah, I can do it. Slowly and regularly. No silly moves. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's put some power. All right, I'll put you to work. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> this. Thank you very much. Good job. Okay. Was it heavy? Sorry? Was it heavy? No. Not no. too bad. A little bit. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to sue me later, right? Eh? We'll no. see. <laughs> see how this print comes out. Okay. So, here you see the paper and the plate mark in the paper. Now we have to check the print. Maybe somebody else wants to lift up the paper? A volunteer? Yeah. <laughs> um. Wow. Wow. If I may say so, I like it myself. <laughs> so? <laughs> and look at the white frame, I'm very proud. Very nice. Do you see the white frame? Do you see the plate mark? But in the plate mark you see a white frame. You see that? Just like an old photo. You see? If I may say so, a good one. it's a good one. Eh? <laughs> and here you see the, now you see the difference between plate tone and on the plate, and here it's also on the plate, but there's no plate. Yeah, yeah that's the best print of the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, from one time inking, you can only make one print. From one cup of plate, you can make about 100 prints. And from, and uh, this, this is a uh, chrome coated nickel plate. From this, we can make thousands of prints. Um, Rambert made altogether 300 etchings. We still have 75 copper plates all over the world. The Rambert house has seven plates. You, can see. you did not cover the whole surface. So it means you still can see it. Well, it means he used the color of the dead body as it wound. So we only needed to add the other colors. And uh, it's a very effective way of working. At the same time, it also intensifies the atmosphere of the subject. That's very clever. Thank you.
<laughs> yeah, just, yeah, so um, like a monochrome, you see the color of the body. So we only needed to add the other color. So the, the color is already there. And at the same time, it intensifies the atmosphere of the subject. That's clever. Now, uh, for example, a portrait like this. He used a very dark brown, a dark brown covered by a dark gray, like a monochrome. So for each um, other painting, another color. And, uh, well, in the beginning of his career, he painted on oak. This is what Thank you. 